Hi everyone! I am going to be painting this little lady today. I've had several requests to do some painting tutorials. I usually just do sculpting or project tutorials, but I've continually been getting requests on the painting part of it and I usually just leave that out completely and tell people to just paint however they like. So this little lady here has been hand sculpted out of creative paper clay. I used a silicone texturing sheet by my friend Victoria James at Victoria James Art. I'll put a link up for you so that you can check out her awesome texture sheets and sometimes she has molds. What I've already done is I have coated this girl with some black gesso. Now you'll see there's some streakiness because I started painting her and I didn't like it. So I went over it again with some more gesso. So she has some streakiness, which is going to be fine. Once we start painting, you won't be able to tell at all. Now, if I really wanted, I could, you know, sand her down and make her very, very smooth. But I tend to go with a kind of a rustic, primitive look on a lot of my sculpts. Um, oh, I also wanted to add, I've been sick, so I'm not going to let you see me because I don't look my best. And my voice is kind of scratchy, so I will be doing this tutorial in segments so that I can take some coughing and hydration breaks. So that's the little girl that we're gonna be painting today. You don't really need much. Here's what I use. I use basic colors. I use just the basic primaries. I have this green that I, I hardly ever use because I always mix my own colors. I love the golden heavy body acrylics. This is my travel set. It, it stores really nicely. It travels well and I can make any color I want out of these colors except fluorescence fluorescence if you want those you really need to buy them or metallics you need to buy those if that's what you really want sometimes I do but for the purpose of this tutorial I don't so this is what I like to use this is my travel set this is also part of my travel set I love these little mini sizes so this is the Liquitex and these are the soft body acrylics this is, I love purple, I use a lot of purple around, shading around the eyes and stuff, and I just really like this shade, so I went ahead and bought an actual color that's already mixed for me. So, those are all of the colors that I'm going to be using today, nothing else. So, we need that, and we will also need some paint brushes. I just have an assortment, and I won't be using all of them, but you'll need some uh, very fine brushes so that you can do, you know, detail around the eyes and if I decide to give her a tattoo or whatever, that'll be nice. We're getting into corners. Also, I really like uh, these flat brushes because I do a lot of dry brushing techniques. These flat brushes work really well. Here's another smaller flat brush and you'll see my, my brushes, I go through them. I don't, nothing is very expensive. You can get these all very inexpensively at any arts and crafts store. Um, so my brushes are very frayed because I do a lot of just like scrambling and, and scrubbing. So I go through brushes very quickly. I sometimes also will cut them down because they make nicer scrubbies when you cut down and they're not so floppy. Also a palette knife. Any palette knife is going to do. Uh, this is just a little one. Again, it's my travel set and this works. It keeps me working in tiny amounts because I don't need a lot of paint. You can't put the paint back into these tubes. So, and I mix all my colors. So this really helps me to just do tiny drops of paint at mixing colors at a time. So that's basically it. Oh, and we'll need some water, of course, to clean off our brushes in between and a few just rags. I usually use one wet and one dry uh, to clean up messes. Um, blot off brushes and that sort of thing. And oh, a palette also. So for mixing colors, you can use anything, a paper plate or a piece of foil will work um, or an actual palette that I sometimes use. But this works out really well for me. It's just a really cheap ceramic tile 
Um, it came with the house that we bought. So there were just boxes of these in the carport for some reason. So I have a bunch of them and this is what I use for lots of things. Works great as a palette. So I'm going to take my little coughing break and get a few sips of tea and I'll be back shortly to start on our painting tutorial.